Hi, Chin. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to ask you a few questions around mining rejection rates and what F2 pool does when it comes to stale blocks and orphan blocks. But before we do that, let's get a little bit into the history. So basically, when you log into our mining pool, you see the worker management page. And you can see accepted, you can see rejected. And uh, that, that, that's, what, that's actually a lot of simplified. Uh, we have this idea to 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 give give miners detailed reason why they get rejected, and also uh, some shares actually getting ignored. We have this internally uh, recorded. Uh, mostly, it's uh, duplicate shares. We also internally record duplicate shares, uh, and those shares just uh, get ignored. It's, it won't be recorded as uh, accepted and it won't be recorded as uh, rejected. So for rejected right now, we only offer a, a simple reject rate and also uh, sometimes you can see rejected number of shares. But uh, uh, there's actually different reasons, uh, reasons for, for this reject. And uh, the most uh, uh, often, uh, the most common thing re reasons for rejection is uh, uh, either your your submission is not qualified to valid work. Uh, this is uh, in terms of a BIP twenty two is uh, we call it uh, uh, high hash. Uh, and also another reason is uh, uh, mm, most common thing reason is uh, uh, you submit a share and uh, uh, it's uh, it's based on old work. And uh, the network uh, already found a new block, so it must uh, update you. So your submission uh, won't be able to create a new block. Uh, and even you do is uh, it create a stale block, or we call it orphan block. And in that case, we will uh, return a reject reason, uh, either stale, stale previous block as defined BIP twenty two, and also in terms of your your submissions too old beyond the previous block, and so you give a reason, uh, still work. And uh, in some uh, more rare cases, your submission, uh, I think normally it shouldn't happen, but uh, we constantly receive some uh, uh, submission of uh, shares. It, uh, it timestamp is not within the valid uh, range. So, uh, for a Bitcoin block created uh, so timestamp, we have uh, some requirement for timestamp. So timestamp can't be too new or timestamp can't be uh, too old. Uh, the uh, minimum timestamp is uh, uh, it must be uh, at least of one second uh, uh, older than previous uh, eleven blocks of medium uh, timestamp. And it must not be uh, newer than uh, the current uh, time plus two hours. That's a requirement by the uh, Bitcoin consensus. And uh, if your submission of uh, your, your submission, uh, the timestamp field is uh, older than the minimum requirement or newer than the maximum requirement, then you, you, you shall be rejected. And sometimes uh, you also, you know, in terms of Stratum protocol, there you, you must uh, give us uh, your username, your worker name. So if you give, give us a uh, valid username, worker name, then you probably also reject your share because we don't know how to credit this share. Um, in that term, it's the unknown user or unknown, uh, yeah. And also job ID, if you submit a job with a uh, invalid job ID, we will give you a reject reason, like unknown work. So that's the uh, most uh, common thing, uh, reject rate, uh, reject reasons you, you, you see, you receive from us. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the history before Stratum. Can you give um, viewers a little bit of history about Stratum? Uh, Stratum basically uh, was introduced uh, uh, under the pressure of, uh, you know, hash rates increase. And speaking of the history, as uh, in the in the very beginning, Bitcoin miners use Gatwork protocol. 
Network Protocol is the same type of protocol, basically same protocol. Uh, Bitcoin D is re returned uh, from the network uh, JSON RPC core. Uh, it's returned uh, four values. Basically, only only the how say the, the block header value is uh, is, is useful. And uh, uh, in terms of you 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 call network uh, JSON RPC API from uh, a mining pool, uh, the mining pool will return a uh, a work, uh, but uh, with uh, you know with a uh, with a target as uh, lowered. Uh, so uh, you work on this uh, lower target, and uh, you basically repeatedly call this network, and uh, mm, and start work on on this uh, on this uh, from this parameter of, uh, returned by the mining pool, uh, and then uh, once you find the result, you submit your uh, result back to the mining pool using submit work API. So, uh, because like uh, many people working at the same time, and uh, anyone could find uh, a block anytime, and uh, in in terms like the network, other people find the new block, you need to get notified. That's uh, we we call it long polling. Uh, that's a kind of uh, add on to this network protocol. And uh, it is this was only introduced uh, later. I think a few months after the first uh, uh, original mining pool was introduced, and uh, after that, because uh, the network, uh, the mining machine hash rate uh, keeps increasing, uh, we also uh, add a few other add-on features to this network protocol, like uh, we can uh, the mi mining client could like. Uh, uh, rotate the uh, timestamp field uh, by its, uh, on its own, to, so it doesn't have to request a new work for mining for all the time. After uh, once the you know uh, four, four, four billion four billion hashings, so yeah. But uh, in 2000, 2013, uh, when ASIC was introduced. The hash rate of ASIC uh, equipment is too high, so even with this uh, timestamp uh, rotate rotate, so uh, it could not uh, support this this, this huge of uh, network hash rate. So we got to uh, also slash mining pool. They they they, they dropped a new mining protocol uh, based on JSON RPC. Uh, each line is uh, is a uh, separate JSON. Uh, it's called it's called the stratum protocol. Uh, stratum pot protocol basically uh, give you a much simpler block uh, template you can working on, and you can uh, you can insert the actual nonce, not just that four byte of nonce value uh, into uh, because the nonce nonce part is four bytes is embed into block header. Block header is only 80 bytes, so it's quite a limited space. Uh, by introduce actual nonce, you can uh, add this nonce value uh, more freely uh, to Combi's transaction. So that's uh, give you a lot of uh, uh, possibility to, to do a lot of work uh, locally on the mining machines. Uh, you don't have to re uh, repeatedly request a new work from uh, the mining pool. Great, thanks. Now let's get into the types of rejection rates. Actually, uh, in terms of rejection, uh, there are two types of rejections. One is uh, the share get rejection by mining pool. Uh, second is uh, the blocks uh, is rejected by network. Uh, for the former rejection, is uh, is a miners the their hashing rate got, got wasted. And won't be credited by mining pool. So, if you get a higher uh, percentage of rejection shares uh, from mining pool, then you, uh, given the same hash rate you have, you probably receive less Bitcoin uh, every day. So, but uh, for the for the latter uh, rejection, uh, mining pools blocks uh, generated from mining pool, uh, they get rejected by network. It's as a it's for PPS mining pool. It's uh, it's uh, it's a pure loss of the mining pool. Uh, 
uh, for PPLIs or other uh, payout schemes, the mining pool, it, it depends on what the payout scheme is like. For PPLIs, it's, uh, uh, if a mining pool is block gets, gets stale or gets rejected, got, get orphaned by, by the network, then it's also minor, minor lose, lose, lose this reward. So we've talked about mining history, uh, specifically around SPV and Stratum. So let's talk a little bit about some of the performance and efficiencies of Bitcoin Core. Some part of the history might be a little bit controversial uh, because, uh, you know, uh, we were probably one of the first, I, I do believe we, we are the first one to introduce as nowadays so-called SPV mining. Uh, because in the first few months into our operation, we uh, we constantly lose lose a uh, lot of Bitcoin. Uh, we even like shut down our service for a few days because uh, we lost a lot of Bitcoin in terms of. And we we checked uh, our uh, log files why 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 there was such a big lose. It's uh, because we we had a very high often rate because back back then our servers was was in China. And uh, the connection to the outside of the world, uh, uh, you know, in, in early 2013, uh, the hash rate hasn't been shifted to China. So uh, the Chinese miner didn't uh, get into this area that much. And most of the hash rates actually, most of the new blocks are created by mining pool outside of China. But our mining pool is in China, the connection uh across the grade eight fair was uh, quite uh, quite a challenge for our operation so uh we looked into this problem and uh, we found that the solution <laughs> you know we can actually uh uh actually act as, as a normal miner uh normal users to other mining pool we can connect to their stratum protocol and we can listen to their stratum protocol we can get to know uh, new blocks uh, being found from uh, those mining pools. Uh, you know, they, uh, for a mining pool, if uh, some user found a new block, the first thing uh, is to update uh, the the other miners in the same mining pool. Uh, it's, it's much faster uh, than you broadcast uh, your block to the P2P network. So by by listening to other mining pools, you actually get to know uh, someone uh, found a new block much sooner than than listen to the P2P network. Uh, but the problem is uh, by using this way, listen to Stratum protocol, you can only get to know uh, which block uh, uh, was found. Uh, you cannot have the detailed information what transaction in that found block. And uh, so uh, if you want to start based on this new found block, you will have no choice but uh, mine the next block uh, with no transaction included. Otherwise, you you probably get uh, risk uh, uh, include conflict transaction into the into the next block. That's why you see uh, uh, this is a controversial because uh, you, you you mine some uh, uh, no, tr some blocks are with auto transaction. Uh, or as people say it's uh, it's empty blocks. Uh, but uh, as soon as we 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 get uh, we 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 hear a uh, new block being found from P two P network, we have we get uh, the full uh, data uh, from the P two P network. We'll update the miner to ask them to uh, restart their uh, mining. Uh, operation from this full block. So you only see a small percentage of empty, empty block being created on the uh, Bitcoin network. Uh, and uh, this percentage is actually getting better and better. The biggest uh, uh, improvement was introduced from Bitcoin Core version uh, 0.11.2. Uh, uh, Bitcoin Core, uh, in, in that version, Bitcoin Core, uh, had included a, uh, a huge update in terms of performance. So we got, not just so we got less often rate, but also we got, uh, you can see less empty block from, from the network. And also 
for in terms of increasing efficiency, we also include the uh, try to deploy Bitcoin full nodes uh, everywhere uh, around the world, and uh, we we also deploy to uh, developers uh, a protocol uh, which uh, uh, more efficient to broadcast uh, blocks uh, to uh, to everywhere around the world. So we don't have to broadcast uh, uh, a uncompressed uh, block data of uh, one megabyte uh, to 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 P two P network. Uh, uh, mostly, it's, it's working like we can uh, upon we uh, we create a, a stratum drop and uh, issue this drop to our miners. Uh, meanwhile, we, we also uh, try to broadcast this drop uh, and the block template, uh, all this transaction data uh, associated with this drop to our uh, edge, uh, edge full nodes. So when someone uh, found the new share which generates a block based on this, 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 this stratum drop, we what we do is we can just uh, uh, send out uh, some critical information like Coinbase tr transaction and also the NOS value uh, to those Ash Bitcoin uh, full node servers. And they can assemble a valid block uh, from, from, from remote and uh, broadcast from where they, uh, from where, where they are. So, that uh, also uh, help uh, increase the efficiency by a lot from our major. Thanks very much for your insights on mining history, especially around SPV and stratum. Can you give our viewers a little bit of insight into the timing of performance improvements uh, previous to 2014? We actually implemented all these measures uh, before 2014. That was when the Bitcoin uh you know the, later later than that is uh, there have been a lot of uh, uh effort makes the p2p network uh, uh propagations uh, more efficient there's a few other projects but all this effort actually before those uh those those you know high speed high speed prop propagation uh you know networks so F2 Pool maintains a number of nodes, full nodes, um, globally. Can you talk a little bit about that and why this is important? Uh, we have a Bitcoin full nodes set up in many parts of the world because, uh, you know, those X as as an edge server, uh, uh, those 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 full nodes will receive a block template uh, when our pool server uh, issue a drop to. To, to our miners. And also they receive nonce value and uh, some creative combat string information uh, when the when some miner found a new block. So they assemble those blocks in place to, uh, from where they were. And uh, they broadcast uh, to, the, to their surrounding uh, P2P networks. Okay, and finally let's dig into stale blocks and orphan blocks. So we, we have a lot of uh, processes, uh, I mean, on the server side to uh, handle each, each process to handle uh, no more than a few hundred uh, mining client. And uh, on top of that, uh, we also uh, issue drops uh, by pro party. So uh, if you have a lot of hash rate and if uh, one connection have a lot of hash rate, we will update this connection before update other connections. So that will make, actually make this uh, mining, you know, uh, to mining uh, a lot more efficient, uh, I must say. So um, uh, given like, uh, because, uh, you know, higher hash rate miners, they, uh, uh, they, they will be notified first. And if you just uh, connect to, connect with, with with very few or even no hash rate for us, then for this per, per process basis, you, you, you get notified, you, you get lower, lower priority lines. We have a, a few pool servers uh, at the, the most backend part, and each of the backend server is further 
uh, redistribute it to 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 a, to a few like satellite servers, and uh, this will help uh, reduce uh, each server its uh, uh, the number of client connectors to 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 a a number uh, we, we can manage. It. So usually it's uh, it's no more than one thousand client to connect to each front end servers. And of this number of servers, we try to prioritize them. And uh, if you have a lot of hash rate, then you'll be notified for new job and new blocks first. If you have lower hash rates, then you you probably less prioritized. Great. Thanks very much for your time, Chin. Until next episode.